All right, three, two, one, go! All right, let's go. They have started. So, no inventory stars, and they have not died yet. Okay, let's go ahead and get... Uh, we're gonna do Zikubi's audio. We got... We're not getting any audio from him. What's going on here? Really uh, low Zikubi audio, so we're gonna have to... There we go. All right, we're gonna use Macobra's audio. Zikubi's got that super low audio. Yeah, I don't know what that is. All right. We are in there. Let's go. So... So far, we got no inventory stars and no deaths, so they already start off with a 1.5 points. Wee! Let's go. Ooh, Macobra not hitting that 1-2 uh, P-speed. But from what we've noticed in the tournament so far, it actually does not matter at all, like, some of the beginning strats, right? We've all seen... Dude, remember yesterday, whenever uh, Zero Planes came in with that win strictly from the Bowser clip? That, absolutely incredible. So, the first point that they're gonna want to get from this is the tunnel. So it looks like Zikubi's gonna get to the tunnel first. So keep your eyes on Zikubi's screen right now. Let's see if he nails the tunnel. Zikubi is on the left side, Makobra's on the right side. We are on game one right now. SMB3 Warpless Point System Tournament. All right, Zikubi, come on. I want them both to get the tunnel, both of you. Come on, here we go. All right, let's go, Zikubi. You got it, MFP tunnel. He's got the duck. Ah, he hit the wall. Macobra can come and steal the lead. They both hit the wall. No. Dude, that was his chance to come and steal the lead. But they are rewarded nothing. Sorry, guys, but you get nothing. Who funded this tourney prize pool? That would be me. Very, very unfortunate. All right, they're doing the hard level. Dude, Zikubi burned all of his tunnels in practice, exactly. Exactly. The audio we're hearing right now is Macobra, not Zikubi's. All right, so I'm, so, uh, Macobra is definitely the underdog in this situation in terms of uh, PB and time. So Zikubi is one of the best Mario 3 players right now in terms of time, holding the any percent record and the all forts record. Unfortunately, All Force has been moved back to the uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, category extensions leaderboard, so it's not even a serious run anymore. Rip All Force, unfortunately, but you hate to see it, and it happens. It happens to the best of us. So, uh, actually, let me go ahead. I'm, I'm going to move this aside here and give his timer a little bit more breathing room here. I know you guys can't really see what's going on, but just, just updates on the fly, guys. Just updates on the fly. There we go. Give it a little bit more breathing room. Maybe move it back just a little bit. There we go. Looking good. Oh, no, not looking good. We got a lot- to Dude, guys, it's the airships. We got lots of stuff to do. If you're not doing work on airships, you're not working. Okay, so. They both have their fire flowers. They have not used any star inventories, but unfortunately, they did not get the tunnel, so they're not going to be awarded any points for that. You hate to see it, guys. Hate to see it. Oh, with the fire kill. Macobra, he's going for spray fire right now. He's a fire hydrant. Not, oh, he's fire hydrant. He's not getting those kills. And he does not secure a fast kill, but that's okay. That's okay. Fire hydrant strats are still okay. Spraying all over the place. He's like a loose uh, a fire hose. So the next objective that they can get in World 2 is in 2-2, two, two, they need to get a 292 in the pipe and they get a 0.5. And if they get a 221 or higher, they get a point. And the 221 is the fire kill on the boss. So we're really looking out for that. Zikubi is entering World 2 first. So he is going to be the first one attempting the 292 in the pipe. Let's go. <laughs> very clean on Zikubi's side and very clean on Macobra's side. Looking good, both of them. I hope this race is as good as the the race yesterday with Narf Men and um, Cobrager. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? 298? 297? 296? 295? Haha, <laughs> 294? Big jump in the air, 293! He, he got it! He is the first person! 
Macobra right now with the oh Macobra falls in the moat of tears. Very unfortunate, but Zikubi getting the 292. Well, Macobra falls into the moat of tears. You hate to see the moat of tears, guys. The moat of crying souls. And it happens. Zik I, this is why I put 292 as the point, man. It's a thing. Holy crap, Macobra with the movement of four. Oh my god, should he go for the early hammer? What do you guys think? Would you go for the early hammer, you guys? He got the movement of four, but it, he would have to do a one death early hammer. Maybe he gets post 2-3. Maybe he gets the post 2-3. Zikubi could get points, but those points are not going to help if Macobra gets a really good time. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. Ooh, Zikubi is actually going for music box strats. So we're going to see... We're gonna see some different strats today than what we've seen at all from the tournament because everyone has been wanting to avoid this music box. Okay, that was the hammer right there, guys. Okay, Macobra is so close to a uh, post 2-3 early hammer. This is crazy right now. We've already had uh, one early hammer in this tournament so far and we've barely even scratched the surface. If we get two, I'm gonna be pissed because I just played for three weeks of world record attempts and I didn't get a single post two three. It took me like three weeks to get one. And now everyone's just getting it like it's a joke. What is this? All right, Macobra is so close. No, oh, he doesn't get it. Oh, dang. He, that was so close to like a no death. Oh my gosh, playing tiddlywinks with my heart right now. This is... All right, here we go. All right, Zikubi getting that mushroom as a card, and same with Macobra, making sure they don't get that fanfare. Zikubi does not have a massive lead here, okay? Oh, yeah, Cobra, he went the wrong way. It's really hard to anticipate the direction of the hammer. But it looks like, it looks like he's doing pretty good. Macobra might have like a one or two second lead because he's not fighting that, um, that uh, music box bro, whereas Zikubi is. I think Zikubi is saying, you know what? I don't want Runaway Bro. I'm sick and tired of Runaway Bro, so I'm not dealing with that crap. So here we go. Yeah, so it seems like Zikubi is ahead by a couple seconds here. Not too much, but he's also winning by 0. 0.5. There we go. It seems with our timers, both runners started at the same time. I don't think they have subscriptions to Hot Bikini Babes. Uh, .calendars.com. So I think they're actually pretty safe. And I think both runners actually did their 360 check to make sure Grand Pooh Bear wasn't around uh, to stomp and freeze their console. So I think we're actually going to see Bowser this race, guys. I think we're actually going to see Bowser here. It's uh, I think it's going to happen. Very possible. All right. <laughs> link, get rid of that link. Get rid of that. <laughs> okay, so they're both on the airship. So their objective right now is a 221 fire kill on the boss. This is incredible. Not not too crazy right now. And like I said, like I said before, uh Macobra is the underdog in this matchup, but that doesn't matter. So uh, Stewie Cartman has a PB of 51-54, I think it is, and Zero Planes beat him the first round, and Zero Planes has a PB of 58 minutes. So anyone in the crowd right now saying to themselves, how do these people get involved in this? All you have to do is get a sub one hour in Warpless. Just get under an hour in Warpless, and you already qualify to enter this tournament. Unfortunately, you can't enter Season 1, but Season 2 is like seven months away, so you have lots of time to practice and get ready for season two. You hit the qualifying uh, mark with his under one hour and you're good to go enter season two. Beautiful, easy. You got lots of time to practice. You should farm how to how to learn points. But aside from that, let's go Zikubi. Let's see it, 221. Come on, bud. Four, five, six, seven, eight. He got it, dude. Optimized all points in world two. We have not seen that yet. All right, Macobra, come on, buddy. One, two, three, four, jump. Yeah! McCover gets a two! Right on! He makes sure that that difference is not huge from Zikubi. 
Zikabee's got the lead, but not that much of a lead. So, yeah, Zikabee is a beast, but Macobra is not giving him that much to work with, right? In terms of time, they're very close, and they're only at a difference of 0.5 right here. All right, Zikabee is the first one for the first frame jump in 3-1. Let's see if he gets it. Woo! Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he does not get it. This is a chance. This is a chance for Macobra. Let's go. Let's go, Macobra. Come on, buddy. Fingers on the trigger right here. Hit that first frame jump. Oh, he doesn't get it. Come on, guys. We're so close here. All right. Well, with that being done, we got a couple levels until the next point. I'm wondering if I'm going to see Zikubi actually use his music box here early. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if he's going to use it. So, okay, is he gonna use it here? No, he's not. So I'm wondering what the music box is for. I'm gonna go for fast. Both of them do not have uh, two cards, so Fanfare is looking pretty good. Okay, uh, Cobra is actually very close to a coin ship, but I don't think he's gonna hit a coin ship here. He's gonna go for the slower strategies. He still has the same Fire Flower from the beginning. Don't forget about that, guys. We've got lots of points coming up. Zikabee avoids the runaway, bro, which is fantastic. And uh, Macobra looks like he's clear of the coin ship. Let's see if Zikabee... I don't think Zikabee's going to hit the coin ship here. He's going to get like eight or six coins or something. How many coins? 41 to 44. Yeah, to 47. Looking good. All right. And Macobra's looking great, too, from runaway, bro. He looks like he's doing just fine. Yeah, Macobra not far behind. All right, Zikabee, let's see. Is he going to go for door three? Right here, 0.5 for, for the door three. He's got to try it, right? It's about points. It's not about time. Is he going to go for door three? Finger on the trigger. Oh! Ah, he doesn't get it! Oh, he's just leaving the doorway up for Macobra. Macobra, you have these chances, dude. You have these chances. Don't waste them. My finger's on the trigger. Door three, bud. You got good Hammer Brothers set up. You can catch up with the door three. Make it happen. Come on. Oh, I get so nervous. Every time I see them go in the door, I'm just like so into it. Every, oh, Zikabee. Is Zikabee gonna get a Task World 3? This is crazy right now. What is, what is this tournament, dude? why I didn't enter this crap because I knew you know some good RNG is gonna happen I'm wasted I need to save my good RNG for world record attempts all right so what's happening on Cobra's side he's gonna have to do a water battle it's okay oh sick of me wrong way yeah he's gonna do the swap so that he guarantees no runaway and Macobra we don't want to see him move up oh no oh Macobra is so close to a runaway bro here. This is scary. Zikubi getting really optimal Hammer Brother movements. However, he did get movements of like four and stuff. All right, so let's see what happens here. Come on, left or down. Let's go, Macobra. left or down. That's what we need, left or down here. Oh, nice, he got the left movement. No runaway, Macobra is happy. Macobra is happy. zikubi has got two stars. Are we gonna see a fanfare here? Are we gonna dock points? Are we gonna tie it up with a fanfare? I don't think so, but let's see. Whoa, had me on the edge, man. <sighs> this is crazy right now. Do you guys think they're gonna go for the Wendy? I don't think they're gonna go for the Wendy. I have a feeling Zikabi is definitely not gonna go for the Wendy. They haven't taken damage. They haven't taken any damage at all. So there's, there's like, unless you're crazy practice with Wendy. <gasps> Zikabi, man, that was so close. He almost took damage on that, on that, uh, Jesus. I can't even say it, dude. On the, on the Babam. Well, there's barely any Babams in this game. I'm not, I'm not used to saying Babams in Mario 3. All right, Macobra. Macobra needs to get this H jump. Come on, save some time. Okay. Dude, I thought he was going to hit that question block, but he's pretty good. All right, closing the gap between them. Uh, Macobra is in second place with a difference of 0.5. A ba 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 bomb. A ba 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 Bowser. Ooh, Zikabee with the uh, belly jump right there. Sewing off those awesome uh, buttons that are conveniently placed right over his nips. All right, so so 
neither of them got any points in world three however no inventory stars and neither have taken death and neither have taken damage it is so important to not take damage so uh i have a feeling i have a feeling that they are not gonna go for the wendy figures on the trigger but i don't think so i don't think so Ooh, now's the perfect time to grab a sodi pot Grab that sodi pop. Yeah, there we go. Zikabee's PB is a 5109 and warpless. World record is a 5036. Macobra's PB is a, I think a 50. Let me see if he's got the splits here. Macobra's PB is a. Hey, he's got randomizer splits open. Cobra. Okay, get it together. All right, is he going for it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my! Oh, I thought he was going for it. He was like set up. He was so close. I think he like went to go for it and then decided not to. I don't know what happened there, but that was interesting. All right, come on, Macobra. If you get point five here, you tie it up. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, good. That's a smart play. That's that is a smart play. That really is a smart play. This is so slow after watching Randomizer. I feel like my commentary can never make this slow right now. We have a we have somebody who's lost, guys. Can you guys redirect Mike92 to uh, uh, like a YouTube video or uh, a different channel or something? Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, you meant the airship? Hey, man, airship's got an airship. <laughs> Don't worry, Mike. It was a perfect setup. All right. We got Zikabi doing perfect P-Speed strats in 4-1, which is very crucial. Macobra not getting it. He's He was opting for the harder strategies, but he still has not taken damage. So they can go... <laughs> it's okay. I'm just... I'm just bugging everyone. Okay, so they need to go for the ass... Point. The 288 and 441. We call that the ass point. Because it looks like it says ass on right here. It looks like it says it, right? Or they get deducted 0. 0.5 if they get the star bro in world four. So we gotta watch out for that. Zikabi does have good RNG here so far. Also, not to mention, he does still have two hammers. So he's either gonna skip this fortress and not opt for that point. Or he's going to go for the fortress for the point. So here's the here's the thing: you could use a star and lose your 0.5 reward for no stars. Do the fortress, get a 288, get that 0.5 back, and then your stars are opened up. You can use stars from now on. Okay, Zikabi is not going for the fortress point. Very interesting. So that makes me wonder what the music box is for. Ooh, the Hammer Brothers moving around. We don't know where they are on Zikabi's side. Let's see what Macobra does. I don't think Macobra is uh, super equipped for the 288. The ass, the ass point. No, he's not going for it. That's not a bad idea. I don't think Cobra has gotten the music or the uh, the cloud yet either. So we're gonna have to see how that happens. No P speed, so. He's gonna have to watch out for getting- Oh my god, he made it work! Okay, Zikabi, what's your RNG here? Perfect RNG. He does not have to worry- Ooh, he almost accidentally used the star. Did you guys see that? I don't care if you accidentally use the star or not. If you use the star from your inventory, you lose that point. You lose that point. All right, so Cobra's actually gonna have pretty safe passage with this music box here. It's gonna be really good. So no points in world, world Four for either of them, but also, what's he doing? No music box? He needs the P-Wing? Okay, he's gotta get so lucky here. Oh my gosh. No, he's facing right. Unfortunately, he gets docked the point five. 
Ooh, that is, uh, that is unfortunate. So, making the gap a little bit bigger, unfortunately. We're gonna see how this goes. Remember, this isn't always about time. Oh, not getting the star. He just, he's creating a whole bunch of lag. I, I'm wondering if... Oh! That is big points deducted uh, from there. Well, not deducted, but he cannot earn that world three or that world six. Hate to see it, guys. Okay, let's move down. It's time to it's time to scroll down. So he's gonna be able to get the power up here. Yes. Okay. He's gonna get his fire flower. But now the doorway's opened up. Should he go for Jesus clip? Absolutely. Should Zikubi go for Jesus clip? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Were any of you guys there last night in Haxler's channel when he was uh, ripping on me and making fun of me for not knowing that the movement of four was actually a movement of three in world five in the bottom section? Well, let me just remind you guys, it is actually a movement of four. So he definitely embarrassed himself more than he embarrassed me. That's right. That's right. Try and rip on me for those movements of three. Yeah, they were. I know they're movements of four. Am I enjoying my Sodi Pop? Heck yeah, I'm enjoying my Sodi Pop. Yo, did you guys just see Zikubi doing the little floaty strats with the um, with the rocket wrench in the screen there? So we have an epic coin count on Makobra's side. Just gonna have to YOLO it there. Yeah, there's a weird screen scroll where if you use the screen to push you and then run off of a uh, a rocket wrench, you can actually get like some weird floaty strats. Zikabee clearing a nice fire kill. So no points on Zikabee's side. Uh, no deduction though for the .5. He hasn't died, no star inventory, none of that stuff. And only uh, Macobra. But there's only a point difference of one right now, so... Like, what happens if Zikubi dies? Dude, Cobra's in the lead. Easy. Easy. So, uh, I I can see Macobra going for Jesus Clip. However, he has not died yet. He has not died yet. Alright, we're gonna have to keep a close eye on Zikubi for those movements of four. He gets a reward if he gets no movements of four in World 5. Oh, almost took damage. You're gonna really want to watch out for that. Close, dude. Taking no damage at this point is very, very important. All right, Macobra entering. Gets the two shots, the stomp, the shoots, the jumps. Oh, he's dumping again. Dump, ah, he's going right through it. He's playing Fire Hydrant again. He was playing Fire Hydrant again. I don't think Zikubi got a movement of four there. Don't think he got a movement of four, but Makobra cleaned up nicely. He made it out. Didn't take damage. Still has his firepower, which is very important at the start of World 5. Very important. All right, let's go. Another movement of two. Looking pretty good. Is he going to use the music box here? No, he's not. He needs... He needs a P-Wing. However, Macobra does not need a P-Wing here. So hopefully Macobra knows to use his music box here. Uh, he does not need the extra P-Wing. Unless he does not feel comfortable and he w really wants to get uh, even two extra P-Wings. We're gonna have to find out. <clears throat> We're not sure here. We are not sure at all. Okay, movement of two and a movement of one. Zikabee with the music box. Uh, bumping on the overworld map, not gonna make very much progress if you keep bumping like that. That is uh, a thing not to do. But it's okay, it happens to all of us, it's normal. Uh, Bikinibabes.calendar.com happens to all of us. And the women out there, don't deny it. All right, making good work of the twisty castle. Really good. 
Oh, Sikubi takes the damage and he loses the reward. That evens things out massively. Oh, Cobra got a movement of three. It's still no movement of four here. Zikubi also no movement of four yet. How the turntables. Definitely. Yes. So what is going to happen from here on out is, uh, I don't know if someone's going to go for Jesus Clip. I don't know what's going to happen. Zikubi with the uh, unnecessary awesome P-Speed strats. Very impressive. If you miss that turtle jump, you are as good as dead. I don't know if they're going to Jesus Clip though. Another movement of three on his side, movement of three on Zikubi's side. It looks like Zikubi might be rewarded the movement of four. Not sure here. Ooh, that's okay if Cobra takes that damage though. He's already taking damage. No no harm, no foul kind of thing, right? Let's see, Zikubi do a big jump here. No, he's not gonna maximize his speed. It's very possible for Zikubi to still get a movement of four. You gotta watch closely. There's a movement of three. Okay. So he's gonna do the damage boost, get the fire flower here. Yup. Very nicely done. Keeps the P speed. While Cobra is doing amazing in the uh, the Twisty Castle. It sucks when you lose your P-Speed. You gotta do the rest of it without P-Speed. So there's not much you can do, so... Still doing a great job getting through it. And again, it's about the points, guys. Not the time. Just get under an hour. That's all you need to worry about. You have an hour. Oh, movement of two. That was close. Almost a movement of four. <clears throat> so is Zikubi gonna go for Jesus Clip? I don't think he is, because he hasn't died yet. I don't think he is. There's no way he is. No, he's not going for it. Woo, the heart attack. Oh my goodness. Uh, a movement of two is close to four because uh, one hammer brother will always do a movement of two in the same combination of movement of four where the other hammer brother only has one position where he can finish the movement of four. And there's also only five spaces in the bottom section of world five. So all of them should be movements of one. If you hear a movement of two, Oh, they're either... Oh, Macobra not getting the reward where it looks like Zikubi is actually going to get the reward. We're going to have to wait for this final movement from Zikubi. He's getting movements to two. Either the Hammer Brothers going across level three or they're switching. All for nothing. Let's see. Is this going to be a movement of four for Zikubi? No, not a movement of four. So he is out of there. No points, though. Oh, wait, no, he got no movements of four. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, right, Jesus Clip? No Jesus Clip. That's not a bad play, man. That's not a bad play because you got World 7. All right, you got World 8. And you don't want to die, man. Those those were, like, ah, that's a 1.5 swing if you die. I really want to watch out for that. But unfortunately... Sody pop. Sody pop tastes good. <laughs> Another movement of four, just to rub it in his face. Just to rub it in his face. All right, so Zikubi's on airship. Boring. So we're gonna watch Macobra. Nobody likes the airships, right? Yeah, it, yeah, you hate to see it, but at least okay. So, um. In the future seasons to come, when people want to get involved in the future seasons, the amount of points they generate in this first season are going to be uh, applied to their names in season two, season three, and so on and so forth. So even if you know you're going to either lose or if you're not doing too well, at least try and get as many points as you can because at the end of the day, it's always about the points. So <clears throat> this could be not getting the uh, World 6 three-point power-up. Look at that three-point swing right there. If if Cobra, if Macobra got Jesus Clip, he would have a 4.5. He would be in the lead by, what is that, 1.5? What? Nope. But if he did it, so if he went for Jesus Clip and missed it, he would be, he would be at zero points. So it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing he didn't. All right. Now Macobra's on the airship, so now we get to watch Zikabi. He doesn't want to take damage on this hammer, brother, because if he does, then he's going to have to do a slower fortress. 
No coin ships from everyone. Dang it, man. Nobody. Why hasn't anyone gotten coin ships? What's going on here? We're gonna get a marathon. Nope. That's a really good movement from him. Why is my MFP good still that stupid small one? It shouldn't be that one. Alright, here we go. There we go, there it is. Why is it the other one? Why is the other one still active? I deleted it. It doesn't make any sense. Oh! Macobra with a fire kill. That has been fantastic. And then Zikabi with the star kill. Upside down orb. Right on. Very fantastic. Nicely done on Macobra's side. That is correct, man. He did a great job. Zikabi getting insanely good RNG here. What is this? Movement of one, then movement of two, and then we'll see if the Hammer Brother lands right on him. Ooh, getting the P-Speed in 6-4. Not an easy task. Sometimes it doesn't matter what you do. It's really, really hard. All right. Cobra, he's in. Look, what is this RNG? Incredible. It happens, though. You can't, you can't avoid it. It happens. So 93, let's see if he breaks just enough bricks. Five, six, seven, eight. Is he gonna break one more brick by accident? Is he paying attention? He is paying attention. Okay, he's not gonna get a coin ship. Oh, I mean, it's that's good he didn't get a coin ship. <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh, Zikabi with the double despawn. The double despawn means you caused a little bit too much lag there. So uh, not the most optimal, but who's complaining when you get the despawn? It's the fastest way to do the level, right? It is the fat. Ooh, come on, buddy. With that star, you don't want to make any silly mistakes. Is he could be getting clear passageway? All right, he nailed it. He was a little nervous there. It happens, though. It, you know, the thing about Mario 3 is that the only way to properly fix mis certain mistakes is by making them uh, very often. So it seems like he's might have made that mistake before, so he knows exactly how to fix it. Let's see how he gets P-Speed here. Nope. See how hard it is? The 6-4 P-Speed is not easy. Also, what's even harder about the 6-4 P-Speed is that sometimes you don't even know if you get it when you get it, so your reaction time screws you over. So sometimes, it's even better to not go for it. Alright, we're gonna see if Zikabi is gonna set up for wall jump. You have to remember, the points in World 3, or sorry, the points in World 6 are the carried over points from keeping your Fire Flower all game, the wall jump first try, and the 6-4-3 clip. Zikabi taking damage, it looks like... He's going for that wall jump. He needs to get it first try or gets no points. Macobra, no, on the block will not. The double despawn was standing on the block. What? I have never seen that. Incredible. Let's see if he gets the wall jump here. Zika B, let's go. Ah, he doesn't even get the right pixel. Ah, and he got the right pixel there. So Macobra got the despawn while not running on the hill, which defies all logic with that strategy. So hats off to him. That was something that Tompa needed to show me to prove me wrong. So it looks like Macobra decided to prove me wrong rather than Tompa. I was proven wrong nonetheless, though. Macobra, or sorry, uh, Zikabi getting the wall jump, but not first try. And I highly. Is he gonna get the power up here to try the clip? Yes, he is. I, you'd love to see it. This is a juicy amount of points if he gets this clip 1.5. That would almost win it for him if he gets it. Ah, he was so close! Very nice attempt though. I'm loving what these runners are doing this race. They are going for points, man. That's what it's about. If he would've, if he would've got that point, that would've been incredible. All right, I don't know how well equipped Macobra is. Uh, for these wall jumps. So we're gonna see if he takes the damage here. If he take- You don't want to wall jump as Big Mario. So, does he take- He does not take damage. Okay, so he's not going for the wall jump. He's gonna use his P-Wing. But, the good thing about using the P-Wing is that you can do the Fortress faster to try for the clip. So, hopefully- Hopefully he goes for a clip. I feel like you have a slight disadvantage in this type of tournament set with the points if you- tr If you avoid po all the points in one world, you're gonna have a bad time. If you pizza when you french fry, you're gonna have a bad time. Try and collect at least some points in every world. All right? So hopefully he's gonna take one damage here and then try for the clip. We're gonna see what happens here. 
Eyes on the Cobra screen. There we go. Okay. Oh! Oh! Don't take damage. He needs this. All right, go for the clip. Nail it! Oh, you had the... <sighs> That's unfortunate. I don't... I'm not sure because he could... He gets a power-up on the, uh, the airship, right? And because he's gonna try and 7-1 Cliff, he d he's not gonna want to get a leaf, right? So, uh, maybe he's got a different plan. Uh, you never know. Also, maybe he's nervous. Maybe he feels like if he misses it, he might accidentally stay on the spikes. You never know, man. You can't blame them for deciding what they're doing. But from, from my side of just simply watching what they're doing, I... I would at least try and get some kind of points in every single world. Like, practice and strategize something in every world. Is it going to be going to set up for the sub-pixel Manips? Oh, he, oh, there we go. He moved the pixel. I was going to say, that first movement was definitely not a pixel. So. Alright, guys. World 7. We have seen some crazy World 7s uh, this tournament so far. And we're at just at the beginning of the tournament. So let's go ahead and put my finger on the trigger right here. 7-1, first try, 0.5. Is he gonna go for it? This is very exciting. All right, here we go. Eyes on Zigabee screen right now. Ooh, Cobra getting the ship clip. All right, eyes on Zigabee. Ah, he gets it! 0.5 for Zigabee right there. Congratulations, Zigabee. Congratulations for Zikubi. Getting a first try, awarding those points. 3.5, fantastic. However, in terms of average points, he is kind of, he's a little far behind in terms of some of the other runners. So, uh, we're going to see. Oh, is he going for fast 7-2? No, he's not. Okay, that's actually a pretty good idea what he's doing right here. Ooh, he's going for a, a medium 7-2. You got a slow and... This is a medium, and then there's a fast, so pretty good strat. All right, so here we go, Macobra. It is his turn, his chance at the 7-1. Now, there's one thing that I will say about players who actively avoid duck clipping altogether for the clips is that you have an extremely, extremely low chance of getting the clip first try in 7-1 when you do the standing clip. You hear that, runners, in this tournament? You have an extremely low chance of standing clip 7-1 first try. But it's possible. Alright, finger on the trigger. Let's go, Macobra. Let's go. What's he gonna do? Oh! He, we don't know if he got the right sub-pixel because uh, his jump. He messed up his jump, so we don't know. And at this point, it's random from here on out. And he gets it right on. He's trying to get out of the wall. Can't go that way, buddy. <laughs> All right, so it could be using his clouds. See, I've never seen some clouds so fast in my life. That is, that is some fast cloud strats. Neither of them have died yet, so that is pretty epic. This isn't randomizer, so he does not have to worry about not being under-equipped for uh, seven fort one. Nice, taking the damage there on Macobra's side, so he can do this level pretty fast. He's gonna save a little bit of time on Zikabi with this. All right, Zikabee, ooh, taking that damage. Zikabee with the setup for 7-6 now. Finger on the trigger. Here we are. 7-1 is, or 7-6 is much easier standing clip. Oh, and he premature jumps. You don't want to premature, ladies and gentlemen. That's not how you get it done. He did not get the clip, but he gets it like six tries. So that's pretty good. Pretty dang good. Uh, that was not bad RNG. He jumped too early. Uh, he did the he did the opposite of what Macobra did in the first level. No, it was not the sub pixel. He jumped late. If you get if you jump perfectly, the the ceiling will stop you. Uh, Zikabi using a P wing. He's not going for seven seven. This is weird. That was a weird P-Wing usage. Awesome, though. That was incredible. He used the P-Wing in a pipe I have not seen that yet. Ooh, making heavy work with that level. Not getting the hammer suit, though. He's, he's saying, I don't want that. Nobody's using hammer suit. That's okay, though. Hammer suit's the big boys. Hammer suit's for people who don't hand the controller to their five-year-old sister. 
All right, he's getting the fire flower. He's not going for all clips, is he? Wow, he's going to he's going to chance it. All right, first try. Come on, Macobra. Let's go. First try. Here we go. Oh, so close. All right, Zikabi, first try on these two clips. He got one. Oh, he missed it. And Macobra gets it. I think that was third try it looked like. Making heavy work. Okay, if Macobra gets 7-7 seven, seven here. This will be really good for him. I want to see Macobra go for 7. He, pr I hope you practiced it, Macobra. Hope you practiced it. I've got the finger on the trigger. He's going for it. Let's go. This is some evening out stuff. He's got like 3 minutes to get this. He's got lots of No! You hate to see it. Tonight. On each true story, when chances go wrong, man, this is horrible. That is, uh, he's got to be hitting himself there. That was uh, a very fantastic chance uh, for him to actually, ooh. He's not going to, he's going to have to backtrack for Fire Flower. Remember, what Fire Flower, you, you can't get the Fire Flower on the airship. It does not count. It does not count. So he's going to have to get the Mushroom. Do the level normally in 7-9, and then backtrack after he tries for the first try two clips. Uh, not so bad. This level's way easier in vanilla than it is in randomizer. So let's see if he goes for the clips. He is. Risky. Oh, he got the first one. Don't take damage. Ooh, if you take damage, that's a soft lock. What is this? Oh, he wasted it. Ooh, that sucks, man. I don't know. I would always do the level normally. He got them backwards, dude. He got them backwards. It happens, though. Guys, this isn't over. He could get Rangless No Hands Elevator Clip and Original Power Up, right? That is one 2.5 points right there. All right, Zigabi could die. He could get hands, right? So... All right, no reason to do this fortress. That's right, okay. All right. Damn, this race is good. Woo! Yeah, this race is freaking good, man. Loving it. Loving this race. All right, we got boring airships, so... Uh, well, Zikabee's near the end of it, but we got auto-scrollers. So we're gonna let Zikabee finish... We're gonna let Zikabi finish this, and then I'm going to show uh, the points tallied up from uh, yesterday, all yesterday's races. So don't go anywhere because I'm gonna, you guys are gonna get to see all the stats. <laughs> One fifty-one. Too bad there's no points for that. All right, Zikabi grabbed the one. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff you guys missed yesterday. Uh, so, so far we got Teeks with a total of 13.5 points, two games, one, average points, 6.75, putting him in the top eight. Stewie, total points of 14, however, he only won one game, average points per game is seven, and he is also in the top eight. We got Zikabi and Macobra going against each other right now. We got Brosis, ouch, with a negative two points, games one, zero, average points per game, minus one in the 15th place. You ate to see it. Uh, Bowtie is running tomorrow. We got zero planes, total of seven points. He won game one, which is pretty good. Average points of 3.5. He is in a very good stance right now. Calco has not raced yet. Louie, though, 16.5 total points right now. Games one is two. Average points per game, 8.25. Incredible. Top eight. He's definitely in first right now just by looking at those numbers. Dave Lindo has not started yet. Uh, there's a couple other stats. But we have Macobra going up for the battle. The airship battle. All right. Let's get this baby going. You getting that kill? So so what, what we're looking out for next is it could be with the Wranglist. But I think we have a couple seconds here. Uh, to go through, we got Narf Man's stats with a total points of 14. Games 1, 2. Average points per 7. Top 8. Cobrager with a total points of 4. Games 1, 0. Average points per game is only 2. Uh, he is also in the top 15. 
Supersonic, on the other hand, minus one games, one zero. Average points per game, minus 0.5 in the 15th place. So it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough to see who's in the uh, the top eight and who's not in the top eight. Uh, I mean, you can tell with some, some of these guys with these minus points. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, we'd be able to, we'd be able to hear. Oh, is it gonna be not getting rangless? However, they both are keeping the original power up, so no mistakes, you guys. Big points here. Even if you lose against your opponent, remember, as I just went through all the runners, it's about the points. I want to see, I want to see 10 seasons from now, zikabee has got like 220 points to his name. You know, kind of stuff like that. So hopefully, and this is just game number one. We have a second game after this. Woo! All right, let's go here. Well, I think we're in the perfect spot for you guys to go ahead and guess and let me know what you think uh, the hands are going to be like for both players. You can t you can type in Zikabi, give the number, and then you can type in Makobra, give the number, all in one message. Just do it in one message. Type both names in one message with a number beside their names. So we don't we don't overclog here. Two for both, one for one, and three for the other. Two for one, three for Zikabi, two for Makobra. Zikabi one, Makobra zero. Uh, Makobra. Uh, I don't know, man. I think he thinks the NES runs at 30 frames a second. That's not how, that's not how it goes. All right. Although Macobra is a little bit further behind in time, he's still making really good pace, keeping up with Zikabi. Uh, if he gets Wrangless, that'll be a very nice swing, a little bit of a swing here. All right. Does he get Wrangless? No, he does not. When the Boomerang Bro moves backwards, you cannot get that Wrangless. No point there for either of them. All right, Zikabi Handbridge. Let's go. Finger on the trigger. What's gonna happen? Pause buffer strats. Ah, I guess pulled up by second hand. You are not rewarded. I'm sorry. You hate to see it. Don't miss any A inputs because he has not died yet. You do. You definitely do not want to die here. getting pulled in by the second hand. Making work of hand number three. Meanwhile, Makoba going brain dead from these boring butt auto-scrollers. Dude, so sometimes these auto-scrollers can screw up your momentum and, you know, your, your playing and it just like, yeah, you become worse after. There's still some deaths in the air, and you don't want to lose your original power-up. You don't want to lose that original power-up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, there's no Wrangless <laughs> for the Boom Boom. Alright, Macobra. You need these no hands, man. You gotta get some points here. I gotta get some points. Let's go. No hands. Finger on the trigger. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, hand number two. I didn't hear him at first get pulled in, so I didn't think it happened to him. Oh, but it happens. The R, the hand RNG gods have spoken. Maybe he'll only get pulled in by one hand, though. We'll see. Oh, only one hand. He gains a good 20, 21 seconds. Uh, on to Zikabi. So Zikabi not using any stars. He does not want to lose his power up. He also does not want to die here. Almost misses that fire kill. He's looking pretty hot in this level right now. All right, he's making way. He got through 8-1. Yes, you guys all win hugs. All right, he's got to make work of 8-2. The sun can be very, very annoying. So hopefully, hopefully he doesn't miss any jumps either. So he doesn't die. Look at the sun just comes out of the mountain out of nowhere. He does not want to lose his power up. Oh my gosh, he almost lost his power up. Oh man, he's taking his time. He does not want to lose his power up. Okay, the sun was friendly. Holy jumping. 
Ooh. McCobra not far behind. The sun is an angry one. All right, he's got no stars, he's got no clouds. He's got to do this fortress. <gasps> oh my gosh. Looking pretty good though. This fortress is kind of safe, so we'll see how it goes. Ooh. Macobra, holy crap. Making work with these... No! Ooh. That is bad. Dropped him to zero. I would have used the leaf there. All right, we got the we got the rant. Ooh, watch out! Oh no! Use that leaf, buddy. Come on, use the leaf. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're good. Big, big twist and turn here. All right, taking the damage boost strats, taking upper strat. He's looking pretty safe right now. Taking damage. It's okay. Watch out. Okay, he's pretty good. All right, he's safe. He's gonna do the Sand of Shame, and I don't blame him. The Sand of Shame, it's it's worth it. He might want to go for the power-up route, though. He might want to go left so that he can just get the Fire Flower right away in the fortress. Dude, he did the speed speed strats in 812, and those are so hard, man. He did, like, he did well, but then died, so it's like it's... Those ones hurt the most because he did it right, but he messed up. Alright, he's got the fortress. He's still got Bowser's clip to make sure that he's not minus any points. You definitely don't want to be minus any points. Alright, so here we go. Elevator clip for Zikabi. Are you gonna get it? Yo! Oh, I thought he actually got it there for a second. I did the I the premature celebration. Oh, Zikabi getting a coin ship in Bowser's castle right now. Love to see that. All right, here we go. Just gonna do the statue room. Let's go here. No mess ups. No missed inputs. He's safe. He looks good. He's gotta enter the door with that fire flower to, to get a, that award. Ooh, the bouncies. Gotta watch out for that. Almost takes the damage. He looks good. All right, Zikubi got sub 54 and sub 660, so he gets some good points here. First place and the reward. No points in World 8 though. Let's see what Zikubi gets. Looks like he's getting a 52, 55. Very well done. Under 53, but not under 52. First place, World 7, 60, sub 54, 8.5. Zikubi becomes in first place with an 8.5 points. Okay, so Macobra, we know he got second place. He, not, he needs to get the elevator clip. If he gets the elevator clip, his average points per game will go up. And that'll be really good. It will separate him uh, from some of the other players. Come on, get the elevator clip, bud. Oh, he's going back. It's worth it. Oh, that was his first try. He should have went back. He should have went right back to the beginning of the game. I would, uh, I would like, he should have went, or not the game, sorry. He should have went right back to the beginning of the level. <laughs> yeah, he should have reset for a second try at that clip. Oh, he's going for meme clip. Yeah, reset the console for the elevator clip. Very well done from both of our racers. Macobra had such... 
he had such good points until that death, man. All right. So second place under 60 with second place. Oh, that was so good, man. That was such a good race. So we got Zikubi came in first place with 8.5 points. Macobra came in second with 1.5. That death, man. We're gonna give them like a two, three minute break. All right, on go from three. Are you guys ready? For game two, let's go baby, let's go. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right, here they go. There's gonna be a slight delay from Discord. All right, here we go. So for anyone wondering, this is the points-based tournament, which they are gonna do two runs of any percent warp list. Uh, person with the most points at the end wins. It does not matter if you come in first with time. What matters is how many points you have. Yesterday we had a match with zero planes against Stewie where Stewie finished his race first uh, with a time of like 54, but zero planes won the race with a time of like 58 because he had more points. The objective is to get points. Neither of them have died yet and neither of them have used any star inventories. So let's go ahead and give him a start. You get a free 1.5 points at the start of the game. Don't lose them and don't abuse them. That is the goal. Oh, Macobra, slip and slide over here. First he's, first he's fire hydrant, now he's slip and slides. Gotta love the Macobes. Dude, he's doing great. As I, as I will say, in terms of PB, Makobra's PB is a couple minutes away from Zikubi, and Zikubi is one of the top runners of Mario 3, so there's definitely an, an intimidation factor here, and uh, definitely an underdog. But again, it's about the points, right? It's, it's definitely about the points. And Makobra has definitely shown his skill in this tournament and in the randomizer tournament. He is definitely becoming a top tier runner. I'd say give Makobra another six to seven months of practice and running, and he is going to be one of the top dogs. All right, keep your eye on Zikubi. First point awarded MFP tunnel. Can Zikubi get it? Oh, he takes damage, which is the worst thing to do. Oh, and Makobra loses the P speed. He cannot get it, unfortunately. No tunnels from either one of them. Zikubi is gonna take a big time loss here. Not that big, but trust me, pretty big. He's gonna have to get a, a mushroom, so. Macobra is in the lead right now with time. Oh, no, he's not actually. Macobra's uh, one, two actually set him a little far behind there, so it makes sense. Ooh, not getting the piece. Oh, thank God he didn't go for it anyways. There we go, he got it, it's okay. Again, like I said yesterday, Zero Planes lost lost his race yesterday in time of like three minutes, but still won the match. And that's what it's about, it's about the points. All right, this could be getting to the castle. Don't miss it, Macobra. Ooh, thank goodness. The 
Oh, so awesome airships. You gotta love it, guys. You gotta love these airships. <laughs> Freaking airships. Let's go. So they are tied right now in terms of points. However, Zikubi is in the lead with his... Um, what do we got here? What do we have for Zikubi? We had the 8.5, right? 8.5. So technically he has 10 points right now. Well, Makobra's got the 1.5. So Makobra's got 3 points. Zikubi's got 10. So what, Co what Makobra wants is Zikubi not to go for 7-1. Or sorry, 7-7. He needs... All right, he nailed it. Okay, that was better than last time. So get better. Uh, but yeah, he needs Zikabi to die a couple times, maybe, or you know, get the Star Bro, mess up Jesus Clip, go for the Wendy and fail. You know, there's but there's lots of things. And the interesting thing is, if Zikabi wants to secure his win and go for no points whatsoever, um, that's gonna give Macobra a very big opportunity. Uh, to just farm points, man. You have one hour, get as many points as you can and beat the game. Right? So the next objective that they're going to be looking for is 292 and 2-2 two -two pipe. So I got my finger on the trigger on Zikabi's side because he's going to be the first one to go through. So both of them making good work right now. I think Macobra knows this level very well. He's doing a really good job. All right, eyes on Zikabi's screen. Let's see what he gets here. Ooh, inventory's not going to help you right now, Zikabi. 297, 296, 295, oh, and he falls. He is not going to be able to get it. It is Macobra's turn. Is he good at the 292? Let's find out. 298, 297, 296, 295, keep jumping. 294, three, two. Oh my gosh, that was so close. He should have done a big jump off the last Koopa. The ground slows you down and pushes you back to base speed. So you definitely want to do full big jumps off of those Koopas. SpaghettiOs, that was his chance to get the lead in this race. Because if if Macobra can win the race in terms of time... Ooh, that's... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to hope for Zikibi. That is a, a dropped chance of three points on Macobra's side. So, let's go ahead and take a look. That is a harsh way to lose, and also a harsh time, that early on. So this is what this is why I made Jesus Clip and some of the other points very expensive, because... Macobra's already losing, he lost the first race, and he's already lost the opportunity to get the three points from World 6 Power Up. So, even if he dies going for Jesus Clip and he loses those points there, the risk is way more worth it's it's worth the reward exactly it's a hundred percent worth it right now hundred percent worth it dum dum da dum 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 da dum my big and bark big and big fucking bark oh making good work of the uh two three there is it could be on the sun level oh Oh my gosh, I thought he was going to get hit by the sun there. I was a little scared. Guys, anyone, anyone at any time can drop an input. Anyone at any time can drop an input. I wonder if Zikibi's going to go straight for the uh, music box strategy again. It looks like he is, just for, just for safety. It's honestly not a bad idea. He knows he's going to have to take bottom, bottom path in World 2. Okay. Macobra. We don't, we don't know what path Macobra is going to have to take just yet. We're going to have to wait to see the uh, the movements. How would I know if somebody I was racing had their stream up? I don't know. Um, but if any of you guys want to investigate, you know, all you have to do is go to like Zikabi's channel and type in X, uh, type in at Macobra, and if his name popped up, then you know he's in there. But you don't need to do that. It's fine. Honor system, guys. I trust everyone in this tournament, so I'm not looking into it. I trust them. Don't get the fanfare, Macobra. Very scary. All right, Zikabi killing. Yeah, don't trust Mitch Flower Power. 
I would definitely- I'd have both of their streams up, and I'm not even racing. Woohoo! Alright, they're both in the pyramid pretty much at the same time, so looking good. Macover again, not getting the music box, which is fine. So the next point that both of them can achieve is, uh, the 221 fire kill. Now, Makova is gonna have to get a fire flower on the airship, which is going to change his boss pattern. So I'm curious to know if he knows the boss pattern based on Hammer Brother from that space, or based on Hammer Brother, you know, movements of one, and uh, also fire flower on airship. So he got a movement of one. He's got the music box. He's good. To, he's really good to go. Actually, they're doing great right now. This is still very close. This is the hands, right? Makova gets no hands. He's in the lead. That's all it is. All right, neither has used the star, and neither has died yet. Neither has used the star, and neither one has died. We are on game two of the Super Mario Bros. 3 percent Warpless Point System Tournament. We're coming up to World 3. Lots of points to be gained in World 3. If I was Macobra, I'd be farming as many points as I can. This is why, in the coming months of the tournament, for the preliminaries, everyone should have practiced the points as much as they could. The the sheet and the form was out there for the public for the last six, five months, I think. Five months. Everyone had all the opportunity to practice these points as much as they possibly could. So, there's there's lots of opportunity, except for the Wendy. The Wendy's brand new. I, I entered one, I added one surprise, 0.5 for everyone, two days before the tournament started. So, it was fair for everyone. I didn't tell anyone about it. And, uh... Some people are going for it. All right, come on. Come on, Cobra. He nails it. Both of them nail it. Congratulations to both of them with a score of two. Woo. This is incredible. So, Zika B right now has a total of 8.5 points. And the total points right now we have right now is, uh, I think, Louie with 16.5. So this is what uh, Zikabi is trying to beat right now. That is what Zikabi is trying to beat right now. Louie looks like a nerd. He's got a Yabi with the... Uh... Uh, no, I don't, I don't think uh, Zikabi got the frame jump and neither did Makovra. That was his chance to gain the lead in points right there. Unfortunately for both of them. Let me just double check. I'm just double checking with Zikabi right now to make sure he did not get that frame jump. I did see in transition. Uh, he'll let me know in a second. Let's we'll see what he says. I don't think he did though. Ooh, Hammer Brothers are moving around. Oh, that's right. Makobra is already taking damage, so he has the doorway open for him to do a lot of different things, right? Remember, if you take damage or die early on, go for everything. Don't stop. Go for everything. Alright, Macobra entering. Ooh, taking the damage there. You hate to see it. That, that's what happens when you don't get that instant peace speed. But there's Fire Flower right there. He's gonna get it. Alright, door three! He gets the door three! Holy crap! Zikubi with the door three. Bombing away with these points, man. He wants the gold. He wants the cheddar. He wants the top points of the tournament so far. He wants first place. He wants to have the most points of everyone. He wants the $500, guys. He needs the $500. A lot of people are out of work right now. This is a great chance to win some cash. Great chance to win some cash. All right, Macover, let's go. Door three, finger on the trigger. Tie it up. Oh, I thought he went through the door. I debated myself. Holy crap. Every time, man, it gets me. So it could be making sure he does not have to get Runaway Bro here, which is very, very important. So he's gonna go back. He's gonna do. He's gonna be the backtrack master right here. Do the double. Boom. 
Uh oh. Come on, Macobra. Don't don't let it happen to you, bud. Please don't let it happen. Fingers crossed, man. Move down. Move down. And it's a movement of three. That is the worst. He's gonna have to do the auto scroller. Oh no. He doesn't lose anything here, luckily though. Hopefully he doesn't panic. He doesn't die panic or whatever. Oh, he came back! <laughs> yes, dude! Yes, thank you! Yes! Uh, door 3 is 100% skill. It is a single frame input. That's all it is. However, there's no visual cue, so it's kind of, you know, whatever's. Oh, man! I, I, guys, I don't think I can do commentary for these, uh, these tournament matches if it's gonna keep being like this. I, I gotta take a nap or something. My heart can't handle it. Playing tiddlywinks all the time. I can't tiddlywinks that much. I can only tiddly a couple times a day. All right, so it could be making it to the fortress with the door three. I do not think he's gonna go for the Wendy kill as he has not taken damage yet. Italy twinks, what the heck is that? Let me ask Zick again. He's got discarded fan, so. All right, he did not get the the three one jump. I don't I don't think he did. I just wanted to double check. He's on the airship. He's got time. So Macabre has taken damage already. Unless he knows he can't die from Wendy. Like if he knows he can't die from Wendy, he should definitely go for this. He. I think everyone should practice this Wendy for situations like this. If he gets the Wendy kill, he's gonna tie it up. Let's see what Zikabi does. Two, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I don't know what these kills are about right now with Zikabi. That is not at all how he normally kills that boss. But he gets it done. He gives her the fire. And now they're moving on. Looking absolutely fantastic right here. Oh, hi, Mr. Mario! SMB3 lore, the Mario that you control in this game is actually an actor. The Mario in that throne is actually Mario from Super Mario Bros. 1. He is the original Mario. Hey, Cobra! What the heck was that? Oh, he's going for it! One! Two! Get that other ring out! Oh, you see the strat he used there? He waited the timer earlier. He almost got it there. Holy, cr nobody thought of that strategy. That, that was such a good strat. All three rings were out, but he hit 211, not 210. Almost got it. You need to hit 210 exactly with the three rings. Hate to see it. Take a sip of your sodi pop. So close. Very well done. He must like it must feel good to know, like, hey, I can go for all of these points, right? Like that's what it's about. So hopefully he goes for the mushroom uh in 4-1. Is it could be definitely making work of the original uh first levels of world four? Yeah, 4-1, 4-2. He's getting pretty decent RNG here. Um I have a very strong feeling, you guys, that Zikabi is going to be doing the exact same strategies. I think he has it figured out uh, preemptively, like how he wants to do this. He's going to skip the fortress, right? He's going to cloud, or sorry, he's going to hammer, and then he's going to music box, and the same in World 5. He's not going to go for Jesus Clip. So we're going to see how this is going to go. Uh, Cobra not getting the mushroom in 4-1. Very interesting. Uh, okay, there you go. That's where he's gonna get the mushroom. Nice. And then he's gonna boost and then jump behind. Yep. Oh! What? Oh, this could be really bad for fishies. 
Watch out, fishy fishies! Okay, he's safe. Alright, so it could be getting pretty dang good RNG here. Uh, in World 4, Warpless is not kind at all, especially when... Ooh! Yeah, you gotta get up there to get over, you know? You gotta get up there. So, Makobra doesn't have Fire Flowers, so the uh, 4 Fortress 1 is gonna be really difficult. Zigabi is in a position where he can get sniped. Oh my! Ah! <laughs> and he lost his reward! Holy crap! Just as I was saying it, I am not saying that's commentator's curse because 100% that's exactly what happens in that level. So neither of them get their World 6 Fire Flower from World 1 um, reward of 3 points. Which is a big chunk of points, you guys. No way did I jinx that. Alright, Macobra, he's in a very scary situation. Do not die, buddy. If you die, that swings it in Zikabee's favor so much here. Don't die, okay? He didn't do the third shoot. You gotta watch out for this next one right... No! Do the jump! Look out! Look out! No! Okay, Woo! See what I mean? It's not commentator's curse, dude. These, like, these Lakitu's are so fucked, man. They, like, you don't know where they're gonna throw it. It's so trolly, man. I hate it. The layout does not need to show who, who wins game one. I will tell you guys after. Please just sit back and enjoy and watch the game. You guys are fine. Zikabi, he's not getting the P-Speed in the Fortress, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, it, he's gonna get the P-Wing here, right? All right, get the P-Wing, that's good. So last time he got punished with the star. Don't think he's gonna get punished here. How long did these runners work on this? Well, the uh, a lot of the runners had about four or five months uh, to get it, uh, prepared for this. Um, but people are doing other things with their lives, so it doesn't mean they have, you know, a total of four and five months strictly to get used to it, right? So... Yeah, he's, he's forced to use the- he almost got boxless, man. Dude, I hope- I- I hope that nobody did anything, uh, with their lives for the last four months. So let that- okay, let that- let me remind you guys that anyone is able to enter these cash prize seasons tournaments. All you need to do is get under one hour in the SMB3 Warpless game. Vanilla. Just get sub one hour. And you hit the qualifications uh, to be entered in the tournament. Those are the prerequisites. That is it. Um, and season two is going to be probably uh, four or five, maybe six months from now. There's going to be... So you guys have lots of time to, to dust off your Nintendo and start running right now. You have the point sheets. You can look at all the points. You can practice them, get good at the game, get some PBs and do all that stuff. And then boom. Uh, Zigabee did the same thing as he did last time, where he, uh, he does the little air walk where he lets the screen push him and then, uh, runs on the thing, so it's pretty crazy. Yeah, dude, I want, I want a lot of runners in Season 2, man. I want people to watch this and be like, I can get these points. All you do is gotta practice the points. Nice. Can we get a, a Pog coin count for Zigabee and Macobra? So Zigabee has already lost his Fire Flower, but I don't think he's going to go for Jesus Clip still. <gasps> Ooh, watch out. So it could be having to go for the stomp kill. Not feeling too good about that, but it happens. 2214. Like. Beat the game with 69 coins, 0.5. Uh, I would probably do something like uh, go through worlds uh, 3 to. Uh, go to th worlds 3 and enter world 6 with uh, 69 coins the whole time. Without changing, which is very difficult. You know, I'd probably do something like that. All right, so you could be entering 5-1. Thank God we are past the World 4 airship. We actually can have fun now. And like we said, we, like we already saw, Zigabee has already taken damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, Zero Planes did incredible. He won his first match against one of the best Mario 3 players because of the points. And Zero Planes is a very, very beginner runner. He just got a sub hour very fast, right? So it's it's incredible all the things we can do. Oh, Macover missing both shots going right through the hitbox. Gonna have to offer the stomp, stomp strats. Yeah, there we go. Very clean. Very nice. Let me remind you guys that going for off-screen wand grabs literally costs no time at all and you're standing there waiting for the wand anyways. But nobody has tried it at all except for Narfman. Narfman is the only one who's trying them. You're standing there anyways, you might as well try it. There's no time loss going for off-screen wand grab. Unless you grab the wand at the top of the screen and you didn't do it off-screen. Oh, Zero Planes also went for every single one. That's right. My bad. Dude, it was like a billion matches yesterday. They're all clumped up. I don't even know what's going on. I'm sorry. Missed every single one, but he went for them. All right. Whoa. The bouncy block. You don't want to get that leaf power up. That is bad news. So I really want to see Macobra go for Jesus Clip here. Oh, Zikubi getting a movement of four. He is not rewarded. You... Hate to see it, you guys. You hate to see it. Oh, oh my cobra not getting punished yet. Not getting punished. Do not fall down the shaft of shame. All right, we're good. Dude, I want to see a Jesus clip between one of these races. Even Teeks thinks uh, Cobra should definitely go for Jesus clip. How much has he practiced it, though? That is the question. Oh, no! Zikabee was a movement of three! Oh! There's Macobra's movement of four. He is out of there. Almost takes damage. He cleans up really nicely in that. Very nicely. Oh! Zikubi might get screwed over here. Very well done with the uh, P-Speed strike. 5-5 five, five P-Speed is very difficult. All right, music box. You already have it. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, yep, yep, there it is. We found it. Inventory plays a very big role in uh, the Warpless category. Oh my god, Zikubi has got to be stressing out right now with these movements of four. If Zikubi gets two world fives with no movements of four in a row, his opponent never stood a chance because that's just absolutely impossible. That's why I have the points there for swings and randomness, but apparently it's not random. Apparently when Zikubi plays, it's guaranteed no movements of four. Let's see. Oh my gosh, he gets... Wait, hold on. There's still bottom bros. Hold on, we got bottom bros. Watch out for the bottom bros. Oh, he got it! That was definitely bottom bro moving up. And he went for the Jesus clip! No way! Well, he didn't get the movements of four. He is out! He is losing race two right now. The freaking mad lad right now. This is incredible. However, Macobra doesn't know. See, this is why you can't watch your opponent. If Macobra was watching Zikubi, Macobra would say, I'm not going for Jesus Clip because I'm now winning. So, this is where the honor system comes into play. But in all in all retrospect, uh, Macobra should go for Jesus Clip based on his score in Zikubi's. So let's see what happens. That that death for Jesus Clip really hurt Zikubi's uh, average points per game. Well, he's winning in points right now. It's another movement of two, so. It looks like he got the reward here. Is he gonna go for Jesus Clip? No, he is not.
Yeah, so you get first or second place points based on your time in terms of you you won the time race, but whoever has the most points wins the actual race. So there's first and second for time, and then there's a first and second for points. The first and second for points is the most important, but getting first and second with time will give you points to get first or second. You see how it works? Big plays. Oh no, it's worth it to go for Jesus Clip. Stewie did a fantastic job yesterday with his race to show because Stewie was losing race one. Stewie needed to do stuff to win race two and he went for Jesus Clip and got it. So it is worth it. Nobody said that this point system tournament wasn't gonna be filled with some gambles. You gotta make some gambles, right? Bikin, bakin, bikin, bikin. Yeah, but the time reward for Jesus Clip is not even anything. In, in, a, in a tournament like this, three seconds is barely... It's it, Three seconds is never going to swing anything. Although I should say... I should never say never, obviously. But, I mean... When, when you have somebody trying to go for the Wendy kill sacrificing 10 seconds, which is totally legit. 10 seconds for 0.5, why wouldn't you? Somebody gaining three seconds from Jesus Clip is barely going to make a difference. I mean, you got you got people going for extra Hammer Brothers for safety, which is a smart play, right? So, at least in my mind, I think the time save from Jesus Clip will barely be a thing. But time saved is time saved, so, you know. Well, if you already die, see that's, see you you guys have to stop thinking in, in a pure mindset of like, you haven't died, you've never taken damage, there's been no mistakes, should you go for Jesus clip? And you know, it's like, there's no point because you lose way too many points, but what if you've already died, right? What if you've already died and your opponent hasn't died and he chooses not to go for Jesus clip and you get Jesus clip after you've already died and you get your three points back? You have to look at it at different angles. You can't just look at it at, at, at like a, you know, straightforward like that. You have to look at it at all different angles. Not everyone is going to be playing the same. People are going to be dying in different places. Some people are going to get the Star Bro in World 4. Some people are going to get Door 3. Some people are going to get an off-screen wand grab. The idea is to have the options there, right? Zikabee didn't have to go for Jesus Clip, and he's still winning Game 1 with 8.5 points. But he went for it anyways. He knew well and full about the consequences. Basic, why hinge the whole game on Jesus? What? Stop. All right, so it looks like neither of them are gonna get rewarded the three points for entering World 6 with the Fire Flower. Not many people have done it. I think we've only seen one or two people get it, right? I think we've only seen one or two people get it so far. So the only other points that they can get in this world is Jesus Clip and Floor Clip in Fort 3. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, guys, don't listen to the people who are, like, hyper-analytical and think everyone's gonna run this the same way and, like, ha like the, the, none of the none of the races have been based solely on Jesus Clip at all. Stewie is the only person who's got it in a run and he needed it to win because he already lost game one. Like, that's it. And that's exactly why it's there. So it's, like, a perfect thing. Exactly. So it's like they they don't don't listen to them guys. Just just continue enjoying. Don't listen to the hyper analytical people. So I think Zikubi is actually going to take damage here, and I think he's going to uh, try and go for uh, the wall jump first try. Which I I don't blame him. He knows he took the death there, so he knows he lost the points. And we got Macobra getting that beautiful despawn. Neither of them got the double despawn, losing the frames.
Uh, it was called Jesus Clip like so long ago. All right, everyone watch Zick and Bees. You're gonna get the wall jump. Oh, he didn't get the right sub pixel. Oh my gosh. Damn it, he's having trouble with the wall jumps lately. Um, not getting it. He he got it. Uh, there we go. Okay, he nailed it. Dude, a Macobra's not too far behind. So hopefully, and it looks like they got pretty lucky in World 6 as well. Ooh, this is, uh... Hopefully he's made mis- Yeah, it look, definitely looks like he's made a mistake like that before. He knew exactly what he needed to do to fix it. All right, so it could be, come on, get get the floor three clip. Oh, I thought he got it, man. That was so close, dude. That was so freaking close. Yeah, you can wall jump in most Mario games. So, Macobra does have the P-Wing, right? So, they're... You know, yeah, he's gonna P-Wing like last time. It really is the safe bet and somewhat of a time save as well. So it is pretty good. You ate to see it, you guys. The most points somebody has so far total in both games is uh, Louie with 16.5 points uh, with both games combined. If you're talking in terms of one game altogether, uh, Louis got 10 points in one of the games. He actually got so many points in World 7, it was incredible. Okay, so we really want to see Macobra here go for the floor clip, being as he has a power up that he can get on the airship. Okay, okay, so what I'm thinking is uh, I don't think Macobra has ever really gone for that clip, so I don't think he knows where to jump. Right. Uh, we did the points, so like if you get all off-screen wand grabs, uh, all the points and everything combined, I think it's like 28 points in one game. And Jesus Clip only makes up three of those points, so... Uh, Jesus Clip holds the whole game. <laughs> Dude, Jesus Clip is like 6% of the points. God, that's so rude, Winx. Can we get a mod in here to ban Winx? He's being really rude. Uh, can we get a mod in here to ban him, please? He's being really rude. All right, so Zikabi lines up for the subpixel manipulation, trying to get the single clip. I wish I had control. Am I a mod? If I'm a mod in here, dude, I'll fucking... I'll go ham on you guys. Alright. Dude, they both got the ship clip. I think in Season 2, I'm gonna make ship clip a point. Alright, Zika B, finger on the trigger. Let's go. Oh, you hate to see it. Not getting that. Not getting it. Damn. You do not get a point for first or third try, or second, or anything after first try. Yeah. Ooh. All right, Macobra, it's your turn, man. He can get he can get a good swing here with points if he gets seven one first try. Dude, the P-Speed is not working. He did have to get the Fire Flower, so he's gonna have to actually go for the slow 7-2. Last run, he did medium 7-2. Yeah, guys, just don't worry about it. Move on. Move on. I'm gonna ask for mod powers later, or I'll just close chat. It's not a big deal. Just move on, guys. It's okay. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll down. We are in World 7. Unfortunately, Zikabi did not get any points, though, yet. He's very low on points for this run. I think he's definitely trying to go for more. Uh, yeah, can we give uh, Winx a ban? Sakura, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Ooh, Macobra not getting... Ah, oh, he's the second try master.
Thank you. Thank you very much. I I love the discussion of the points, but I don't like I don't like people uh, simply trying to tell me uh, certain things about being salty and stuff. We don't need that crap. It's just trying to start fights. So just get rid of them now before it's a big deal. McCover using a P-Wing, which I think he did last time, so that's pretty good. Yeah, he's just being a downer. No point. Like, we already explained it, so just leave it at that. But no, he didn't want to do that. He wanted to keep going. It's just a waste of time. Just a waste of fun. We're all having a good time. So, Zigabee, do you guys do you guys think Zigabee's gonna use P-Wing in the pipe transition or not? Like, I don't... Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. That was so... Okay, so he's gonna set up for sub-pixel manipulation for 7-6. Seven, 7-6 six. Seven, six first try. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on! Finger on the trigger! Ah, oh, come on! He is not... <laughs> The second try master, dude. Everyone is getting so many second tries. Holy crap. Dude, everyone is getting... Oh my gosh. Dude, second try is not going to get it. Yo, second jump chump. That's so good. Alright, he did. He used the P-Wing. So, he's not going to go for 7-7 seven, seven again, which is crazy. This run is incredible, man. They are so close, dude. Cobra needs to get first try clip here. Cobra needs to get... Get it, man. Come on, buddy. Come on. Finger on the trigger. Oh my god, dude! These guys are so close. And Zookabee's often to go for the four clips again. And this is what Mario 3 normally comes down to, guys. Alright, he's got the first clip. No, not the second one, but the first two clips don't matter. It's only clip three and four. Okay, he does not get the clip, so he's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna just do the level normally. Uh, yeah, every season the points are gonna change up. Every season the points will change. Come on, Cobra. You need this 7-7, dude. This is a huge points. Yeah, keep it going. Don't give up. Don't stop. Yeah, don't stop. And don't enter that pipe. You need these points. Take as long as you need. Don't enter that pipe. I'm so scared he's gonna enter. He needs to get this clip. This is huge points for him. He, he doesn't know that it is, but it is huge for him. That was so close. He almost clipped. Take as long as you need, bud. You have lots of time. No, that was it, man. He had it. Oh my gosh. Oh! oh! Yes! He nailed it, dude! He's scared! He almost screwed it up, man. He almost screwed that up so hard. Holy crap, dude. Nailed it, though. Nailed it, man. That is incredible. So he can even get more points here if he gets third and fourth try. Again, I don't know how I'd feel about doing these clips because, like, you're, you're, you're... I don't know, because if you get the second clip here, then you have to get three in a row. You see? Now he's got to get two more in a row. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No way, dude! He was so close, man. He was so close. And he got it second try, didn't he, dude? Those, that point swing would have been incredible. Holy jumping, dude. This has been a wild ride for World 7. But don't worry, guys. Jesus Clip controls everything. That's right. That's how the tournament works. A flaw in my system, you guys. All right, I had to say it once. All right, Zikabee finishing the airship now while Macobra entering it. 
He did waste a lot of time, but the points he gained, though, it was well worth it. With the points, he needed that 7-7. Seven, seven. That was incredible. <laughs> the salt. <laughs> Cut it out, you guys. Have fun. All right. This is looking good, man. This is looking good. So, hmm. So, for anyone wondering, the first tier is strictly based on uh, time. If you win the race in time, you get first place. And your time. How many points? Well, he needs... It's, it's not so much he needs points to make up, but he also needs his opponent to make some mistakes. So, uh, so, let's see. He needs Zikabi to lose a power-up, not get Rangless, get hands, right? So that's just some random stuff. So he's got to hope for that. Uh, if Zikabi dies, it's not going to be a huge play. Uh, the first game score was 1.5 for... Uh, Macobra and 8.5 for Zikabi. Zikabi had a really good first game. Didn't die, barely lost any power ups. Yes, clips are not glitches. They were intended by the developers to not soft lock. In case you accidentally jumped into a wall, it pushed you out and you didn't have to reset your game. Definitely intended. They did not intend you to abuse it to skip levels, but then again, when you play a video game, it's kind of like free, right? You can kind of do your own thing. It's great. Yeah, Super Mario World kind of changed it up a bit, and they made it so that you die sometimes when you get stuck in walls. Which is still a fix for it. Alright, so it could be going for the D-Lag strats. Alright, guys. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on Zikabi right now, because he is about to attempt the Rangless. If the Boomerang Bro does not throw the Boomerang, Zikabi is awarded 0.5. We call it Rangless. Uh, you cannot get Rangless with a Hammer Suit. That's why there's a Hammer Suit uh, reward as well. Ooh, no Rangless. That was close. He delayed his throw, but if the Boomerang Bro moves backwards, you cannot. And I tell you, you cannot get a point. He needs to move forward to get Rangless. Uh, Zikubi took game one with 8.5 points and uh, Makobra with 1.5. Makobra was supposed to finish game one with like four or five points, but he died right at the end, man. You hate to see it. Uh, the challenge site is its own thing. Okay, so it looks like Zikabi is going to be the first one up at the hand. So go ahead, guys, and give your guesses on what kind of hands you guys think we are going to get. <sighs> so there's lots of point swings that can happen here. If Zikabi takes damage, he's going to... Ooh, dude, he almost got squished there. Oh, he tried to go for the he tried to go for the floaty strats, but he, he's gonna get squished. So this game two is the last game of the night. So this is gonna be very important. It's gonna be very hard for Macobra to knock out Zikabi at this point. But Zikabi has a very low amount of points here. Macobra going for his own D leg strats. All right, Zikabi, what do we got here? Let's see if he can pull a Teeks and just get no hands. Anytime someone gets no hands now, it's the Teeks. It's the Teeks. Alright, here we go. Ah! Oh! He got pulled by the last hand! He probably felt so jebated. I thought he got across the hand bridge. Ooh, Makobra not getting Rangless either. He needed that. You see, guys? He needed it. He needed that 0.5, man. Dude, and Macobra almost got that 1.5, dude. That was so close. Macobra can still get no hands points. Keep the last power up and elevator skip. So, uh, Macobra can still, within the game, get two more points. 
That's called giving the finger. Dude, Zikabi almost screamed right past all the hands that the last hand just had to drag him right in. For anyone wondering, it does not matter how fast you cross the hands, they will still stop you at no matter the speed. Those freaking hands, man. Alright, it could be exiting the airship now with the boom boom fight. Everything looking good. Everything looking fine. Oh my god, 8-1 is always scary. All right, Macobra, come on. Sorry, I got locked in that 8-1. Come on, Macobra, no hands here. 99.9. .9. Can't avoid it. It honestly happens to the best of us. It happens. So, Macobra would need Zikabee to, like, die in this level or something. Something weird to happen. Uh, take damage, too, would, would hinder a good reward there. Uh, he looks like he's doing pretty fine, though. And he looks pretty safe. The sun is not going to screw him over here. Ooh, get grabbed by hand too. Are we going to get all three hands here? you love to see it, guys. We got to do the fortress. Uh, Darby got abducted by aliens. He's gone forever. Never here anymore. All three hands, man. Ooh, dude. Yeah. Oh, it, it happens, man. It happens. Uh, normally in vanilla SMB3, you do not have to worry about one or two cycles uh, in the uh, fortress in World 8. Uh, the way the orbs work, the... What are they called? The roto discs. That's right. The death waffles. The way they work is like they're, they're positioned perfectly in the enemies where you barely slow down. So that's only a thing in randomizer. So luckily, we're pretty good. So, Zikabi is definitely giving the runners a run for their money in terms of time. Zikabi is definitely earning extra points for how fast he's doing these runs. So, it's uh, a lot of this is really going to boil down. A lot of this is really going to boil down to uh, the faster runner plus the points. So, I don't think we're going to see... Yeah, I don't know. We're, it's going to be very interesting what we're going to see here. And Macobra getting through the uh, Air Force. I was trying to veer off the auto scrollers because really not much going on. All right, here we go. All right, Macobra. No deaths, man, because he needs he needs to get a good uh, average points to his name, right? So let's see how this one goes. Better than last time. Nice. Doesn't get it. That's okay though. Ooh, no, no, no! Don't take damage. Looking good. The bullet bills do this. <laughs> this is this. This is the same thing that happened to somebody else earlier. The bullet bills just would not get out of the way. But he did save it. If I was him, I would take the sand of shame. It's not about time at this point. It's about survival. So we should take the sand of shame. I wouldn't blame him. It's about points. Very risky. Ah, oh, Zikabi not getting the points in Bowser's Castle either. Damn. Zikabi clearing no points in World 8. There we go. We made it. All right. He's coming on Bowser's Castle. He's not getting the clip. Macobra flip flapping, but he makes it. He makes it work. All right. No deaths, right? Everything's looking good. Duck inputs. He's just got Bowser. He's kept the original power up, so that's going to be a very hefty points for him. Nice! So he nailed it. So Zikabi, first place, 60, 50, and World 7 power up. Right there, right? Holy crap, look at that point swing right at the end. A point swing right at the end, dude. 
Another 53, another sub 54. Really good. 6.5 points. Uh, so we know Macobra's guaranteed second place. If he gets elevator clip, he could win this game. And he has not taken damage yet. Oh my gosh, we could have another lost game. Holy crap, right? If he gets, if he gets elevator clip 67, he ties it up. So the winner would be Zikubi, but at least this is still a hot amount of points here. He's got a lot of points to gain right now. This is very exciting. Come on, get the elevator clip, bud. Come on, get the elevator clip. Come on. Pray for the elevator clip, guys. He knows he needs it too. I don't know if he knows how many points he has, if he's keeping track. He is keeping track. Oh, I'm gonna have to double check to see if he used an inventory star. On his counter, he does not have an in inventory star. All right, elevator clip. Here we go, finger on the trigger. He needs it. Very good points for him. Oh, he got it. Dude, you love to see that. Absolutely incredible, that elevator clip. Guys, don't worry though, it's all about Jesus clip, right? If Jesus clip breaks it, uh, I'm super salty. My point system tournament is flawed, guys. Got me. Got me. Dude, freaking Macobra, dude. Nailed it, man. All right, come on, don't lose that fire flower. I swear to God. Don't get hit. All right, keeps the same power up. Second place under 60, tying it up with a 6.5. Very well done, holy crap. Also, let me ask Macobra. Zikubi takes the win with time. Absolute incredible. Absolutely incredible, you guys. Holy crap. Dude. Oh my gosh. I think, I think, um, I think for the finals we'll do best of three. Because like. Guys, we're not doing five games of, like, Warpless. That's right. It's about points. Fucking killed it, man. Holy jumping! Yeah, so Zik could be won because of time, right? If they, if they finish with the same amount of points, um, the person with the faster time will take the win. Have you seen the frog suit? Incredible. Guys, go follow these two runners. Zikabi is going to advance into the next section of this tournament. Uh, that is, oh my gosh, that is just going to be incredible. Uh, you love to see it. Uh, you love to hear it. And you love to feel it. I hope you guys all had a lot of fun. And that is the SMB3 Warpless Point System Tournament. Um, I can stick around for a minute or two and ask any questions if you guys have any in chat. I know there was a lot of questions being asked during the uh, unfortunate time of being trolled with people who want to start arguments and chat, but if there are some questions you want me to directly answer, 
Um, I am here for you guys. I got a couple minutes where I can answer some questions if you guys have some for the point system tournaments. So let me go ahead, and then after that, I'm gonna go back to my stream, and we're gonna do some games. So that's where you guys are gonna. That's where you guys are gonna meet me. You guys are gonna meet me on my stream. I'm gonna go right there, right after this. Uh, Early Hammer isn't awarded any points. Uh, before you guys ask me any questions, just remember that there's gonna be multiple seasons, and the different seasons are gonna have different points. These are just the points for this season. Okay, so there's gonna be different seasons with different points. So if your questions have anything to do with why the points are the way that they are, they are not going to stay this way forever. Is there a reason second place gets one point and first place gets two versus just having first place get one point? Well, I mean, when you get when you get first place, you should be rewarded more than second place, right? That's like saying should first and second place that in the finals get the same cash prize, right? So. If you get first place, you're rewarded with more points. Uh, that's that, that's at least my mindset behind it, right? That, that's why I kind of set it up. Why isn't beating Bowser with Frog Suit worth a million points? <laughs> uh, 